Hey guys, Richard Holder here. I'm at my favorite place, the wrecking yard, obviously. And this time I actually came for a reason, not just to browse around, but later on I am going to browse around because there's so much cool stuff here. This time I came to pick an O-ring up for the fuel rail on a tune port small block Chevy. Actually, I'm putting the tune port setup on the L99, the 4.3 liter iron, you know, second gen LT1 based motor, but we're gonna try to put the tune port on it thanks to the guys at TPIS who modified a tune port base to allow it to bolt to a set of LT1 heads. The problem is <laughs> the guys at Westec had two different complete tune port setups and between the last time that I was down here and now they've gotten rid of them despite the fact that they were sitting around for almost 10 years and that's how it always happens. Not anything against the guys from Westec, you know I love them, but here's what happens. If I have something sitting in my shop for 10 years, which <laughs> are in my storage for 10 years, which I have, the minute that I go get rid of it and think I'm never gonna use this, the next day, I'll need that part. And that's what happened this time. I needed the tune port stuff. I need an O-ring for the fuel rail. So I'm at the wrecking yard. I'm gonna walk around, try to find that O-ring, go up and buy that. And then I'm gonna take a walk around and see what else is here. Cause I'm at the wrecking yard. I might as well check. Okay guys, the first thing I'm going to do is look for that O-ring that I need for my tune port setup. And it's actually for the return line coming out of the regulator. And I looked through all of my O-rings. I couldn't find anything that fit. So I decided, hey, let's go over to the wrecking yard because that, that way I'll have a chance to look around. You know, I love looking around. There's lots of cool stuff. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna find Corvette like this one, walk around, see if I can find that O-ring. And then we'll take a look at what else they have to offer. Okay, so we're on the hunt for a tune port fuel rail. And we obviously have a Corvette. And it is a tune port Corvette. We've got some remnants of the uh, original tune port stuff. Some runners down there. Some lines up here. But I didn't see any of the rail anywhere. So we'll keep looking. There should be more Corvettes here. Man, this thing was, look at they hacked that thing off. So right now, I'm just trying to find the tune port stuff. So I'm gonna try, <laughs> try to ignore everything else. And then I'll go back and we'll look at all the cool stuff. Stay focused, stay focused. Okay, I got another one here. Part of the rail here. Looking pretty rough. I don't see the part we need. We need the part where the regulator's at so we can get to the return line. Two port runners. look at so here's another one no motor in it no extra parts it's a 1990 here's another one And as it turns out, this is the one that I grabbed my stuff from. I'll show you. So it had a complete fuel rail. And the piece that I needed. So this is the O-ring I needed it's for the return line. Needed that piece. We got it, we're all good. Now let's take a walk around and see what other cool stuff we can find on our trip to the junkyard. This was a supercharged 3800. I'd like to get the complete motor. So I have that spare I was talking about. Let's see if we can find one today. This is close though. See, now we don't need them. We'll find a bunch of them. Over the rat's nest. The uh, Turbo 3800 composite NA intake or aluminum. Yeah, like 
I like it when we see an old Buick. Two barrel. So now let's take a look at some of the Ford section. Look at this. Got a Mustang right here. Let's check it out. Five liter. This is an SN95. I like these valve covers. <laughs> Big power forward heads. Lots of these V6 Mustangs. I kind of like that intake manifold though. I like the crossover deal. I'd really like to have one of these with a swap in it. Yeah, Mini Ford. Well, that's an interesting find. This is a stainless header. Got some modular Ford. Nice. It's got to be a 351M or a 400. Trying to get that out of the shadow there. 351 or 400. Two barrel, big power. Lots of these here today. Well, two so far. <laughs> Not too much in the Ford side. Let's go check out the Dodges, see if there's any Hemis. Here's an interesting little Dodge. BT Cruiser. There's a tiny little turbo down there. Here's a Ford Taurus, I mean Jaguar. Little uh, pre high boosted smart car. Look, I've already pulled the motor for you. Actually, we want to take a look at are the full size trucks. Always good stuff in there. All right, guys, we're over in the SUV section. Count the number of intake runners Triton V10. It's already dual throttle body. What's up? I can see the big blocks. The Gen 5. Throttle body equipped. Also, you can tell if you look in there, count the number of uh, bolts that hold on the front cover. Also, that front cover is steel. It's a stamped steel one. Um, you know, sheet metal is thin. The Gen 6 stuff is plastic. Gen 5 and Gen 6, both 4-bolt mains. Neither one of these have provisions for a fuel pump, although I'm told some of the early Gen 5s may have a provision for a fuel pump as they were going from the Mark 4 to the Gen 5 stuff. Four point two liter Atlas, but it's an early one, it's a 2003. Thing's pretty clean though. Five four four valve. Now we like seeing this in the full size stuff. Three fifty one. This is an early one, so it's still a uh, hydraulic flat tap. It. It's always a good starting point, though. More Trailblazer stuff. This one's an 05. No shortage of Magnums. This one is the 318. So this is cool. It's an FE. And I know everyone's going to tell me it's not a 352, it's probably a 360. Nice to see some of these older motors in the, in the yard. Little Vortec V6, 96 model. 
Check this thing out. Silicone wires, high performance coil, poly. Things are like all full race. 1969 F250. So this is a 1989 big block Chevy. The cool thing is, let's climb up here and show you. Is that it has a Holly carburetor. Whoa! Throaty. So here's another big block. This is Gen 5, 454, bottle body. Looks like it bashed down a little bit. Golf covers are a dead giveaway. 7.4 liter. Turbo action. Whoa. More turbo goodness. This one is a 96 F350. This thing looks like there's a little bit of fire, but we like to look in the Take a look at the motor homes. See what we got. A little suspect walking in here. Looks like a big block. Throttle body injected. But you always got to check. There's another motor home. This one's a Dodge. I'm sure it's a 440. I think I need me one of these. Got motor home. I don't have to worry about falling through the floor here. Another big block. Carbureted Q Jet though. Like that. Fancy fancy. That always catches my eye. Turbo, intercooler, diesel. It's an Isuzu. So this is the Isuzu. Isuzu. Turbo. See, there's turbos available out here. There's some of the diesel trucks. This one's looking good. Fancy air cleaner assembly. So the final section is the specialty section. We'll kind of take a walk through there, see some of the old stuff. It's pretty cool. See, I told you they had some cool stuff. A little slanty. I like that. I actually might be picking one of those up. Okay, all you AMC guys. This might be the first one I've seen in the wrecking yard. This is a 73 Matador. I wonder if it's a good core. Another FE. So check the Skylark out. That has Freiburger written all over it. It even has most of a motor. Okay guys, I am back from my trip to the wrecking yard and I went there with a specific purpose. One, to find the part that I need, and the other to look for three different motors. So first of all, the part that I needed, I needed an O-ring and a line for the fuel rail for our tune port setup for our L99, our 4.3 liter. We're gonna run the tune port injection on, thanks to the guys from TPIS, for modifying the lower manifold to allow it to bolt on to this LT1 style cylinder head. So I got the O-ring, I got the piece I needed, so that was a success, I'm really happy about that. The other thing that I went there for, not that I need a reason to go to the wrecking yard, because every trip to the wrecking yard is what? 
awesome. I went there and looked for basically three motors. One of them was a 340 Dodge, which I knew I would never find. So if anybody out there has a 340, please let me know. I am a buyer for one of those. I want to build up a 340, so that would be cool. The other one was actually a 440 Dodge. Now, I want to do a 440. I got to run Freiburger's motor back in the day, but I want to build my own and do some things with it very specific. So I'm going to build up a 440. So I found one. It was open. I'm not sure what kind of great shape it was in. I might just need it as a core, so I might go back and get that one. The last motor that I was looking for, and that one was really the most important, the most the most uh, necessary right now. It was a 3800 Series 2. I wanted to get a spare motor, and we went over all that stuff on the live feed. You guys helped me out with the cost of that, so I was looking actively for a 3800 Series 2. I didn't find one at this wrecking yard. We found one, but it was open, and I tend to avoid those open motors because I like the thing all sealed up. I think it has a better chance to be alive. What I want to do is take the cylinder heads off of that thing so I can take them out and have them ported, put springs put on them, do all the things that I need to do so I can just do the head swap and not have to worry about taking the heads off of the motor that I'm trying to run on the dyno. Makes it a lot easier. Put a cam in, put heads in, and, and away you go. So I didn't find one of those. We'll go to another wrecking yard, and I'll, I'll definitely find one. I'll have the spare motor. I'll take it all apart and we'll have those heads ported. But for right now, I have the O-ring and I have the line for our tuning cord injection, so I want to get that up on this L99, get it running, and find out how much power our little LT1 can make with tune port injection. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Richard Holder. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff, and I can get busy testing.